But you there, don't have to go on and spread these bigoted viewpoints on YouTube and Facebook like you do. It's just a bunch of misinformation. You have no idea. Mav, you have blood on your hands. Okay, Mav. Do you, do you want to have a conversation or you just want no, to? No, I really just would okay. like you to just apologize and turn around and see okay. that what you're doing is harmful. What's up, YouTube? Today, guys, we are back with a new video. Guys, today we have LGBTQ person confronts Frank and calls him a bigot. Okay, I would love to check this out with you guys. Let's get right into it. Yes, hi, what's your name? Um, I'll just, I'll just say my name is Mav. Um, say what? I, Mav. And Mav. Maybe, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So my question for you is, if God said that there is going to be male and female, and then there's some variety in within that called intersex people, why do you guys insist on this binary definition of sex when clearly biology is not so binary? There are, are intersex people and you'll say, oh, it's just 1% of people, et cetera, et cetera. And then also, let's extend that to same-sex relationships. So you have someone who's born heterosexual, bisexual, or homosexual. So why is there this thing where God would say, that's fine, that's fine. But that's not fine. And he creates them knowingly like that. And then you, in the past, the church has said these people are mentally ill. They deserve to be, you know, put in institutions, penalized, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, I could go on and on about that. But my question is, why do you, you say that if I'm going to be a Christian again, then I need to repent from being LGBTQI plus and then accept this narrow version of the gospel. That to me is like conversion therapy and the UN and all these other medical, um, major medical organizations and the US and around the world have called that torture. So for you to stand here and to defend that, that's pretty messed up. What is your response okay. to that? Well, Mav, let me ask you a question. What is your standard of morality? I, I'm myself, I'm a secular uh, humanist. I think that everybody is innately good. Um, what do you mean by good? Well, obviously murder is wrong. Why? Because if I went and murdered someone's kid, then that mother or father would not have a child and they would be in mourning and that caused them some great psychological turmoil for the rest of their lives and trauma they're going to have to work through in therapy. So objectively, we can see psychologically, they're not going to be doing too hot. So of course, okay, but that's objectively wrong. Why is it objectively wrong to harm people? Because if we are going to come together as a society and cooperate as a human race, we need to have some sort of mor like moral standard to bind us together, regardless if there's a God or not. But whose moral standard? I mean, Hitler had a pretty tight moral standard within Germany. Why was he wrong? Well, obviously, he was wrong on many levels. I mean, the fact that he murdered by, millions of people. But by what standard? Why is it wrong to murder people? Well, I'm just going to say, within my own experience. If I witness the murder of someone, which I gratefully have not, I would be, you know, obviously like there would be a sinking feeling inside of me like, wow, I just lost, witnessed the loss of someone's life. That's a terrible thing to see. Like if someone got ran over by a car and it was so quick and you just didn't see it coming, like, of course that would screw someone up for life. So to me, it's like, you don't have to attribute it to whether there's a God or not. Like psychologically, the way that my brain is going to see that is like, wow, I just saw harm or conflicted onto another, or inflicted onto another. Yeah, yes, you're, 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 you're describing how you know something's wrong. The yeah, question so is, a psychological feeling yeah, the, and a the question is, reaction. the question is, why is it wrong if there's no God? So wait, can you repeat that last thing? Yeah, you're explaining one of the ways you might know that something's wrong. The question is, why is it wrong if there's no God? Well, I just think that as a society, we wouldn't be able to just say like, oh, we should allow murder. We should allow this and stuff to happen because obviously slavery was wrong. We abolished that, obviously. Okay, okay. You're, you're, you're bringing up all sorts of moral wrongs. But what you, I'm saying is that you, that was what we need to cooperate as a human race, yeah, regardless you, of whether there's a God or not, because evolution has in, um, incentivized cooperation. If I share my fruit with my person, they're going to survive. If I take care of the elderly person in my clan, they're going to survive. No, no, no. If I take care Ev of the evolution. children in my village, they're going to survive. The human, the, the human race will survive and reproduce and therefore Mav, everyone Mav. else is benefited from it. Mav, evolution is survival of the fittest. That's it not is. true. There's a lot more to it than you're okay, strongmanning well, evolution. No, you're just I'm, so wrong about this stuff. I'm sorry. 
where am I wrong about evolution being the survival of the fittest? You probably read uh, that guy who Darwin funded made? the Ark yeah. Encounter. Maybe you, you, or whatever in Kentucky, you probably read his straw man version of evolution. And yeah. I really don't think that you really talk to biologists and you really know what's going on. Okay. Because there's a whole lot of the stuff Mav, that Mav, a lot of you right. guys hold, hold will on, just hold straw on. man Mav, and Mav. not even take as like what it actually says. Mav. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Got a lot of people behind here. I'm asking you simple questions. You come up asking a moral question. I'm asking for a moral standard. You haven't given me a moral I standard. I have. I said no. objective morality. That is a moral standard. Where does the objective morality come if there is no God? I'm from not the source us, of objective. From within our wiring, from collaborating with other people. Okay. There are negative consequences to murder, obviously. Negative is a moral term. You're, you're importing a moral standard into your atheistic system, and you're stealing it from a theistic worldview. That's not true. Well, I'm sorry. You there don't so get many morality. moral standards besides Christianity. Math. There's Buddhism. There's all right, stop. Shintoism. Math, math, math. There's stop. all these different moral stop. codes from all over the world that I've read about that I've imported. So math. that's not true. I'm, I'm, Mav, I'm going to have to ask you to move away from the microphone unless you give me a chance to respond. Okay? Fair enough. Okay. So there is no mo objective moral standard unless some kind of God exists. Everything is just a matter of human opinion. And so when you hold up a sign that says that certain people have treated LGBTQ people wrongly, you're well, they have, and there's hold, so much hold, evidence for it. Mav, so. Mav, you might be exactly right about that. But I you know need, I am. I have experiences and data to uh, back okay, it up. Okay, well, I'm sorry that people have treated you poorly. But you there, don't have to go on and spread these bigoted viewpoints on YouTube and Facebook like you do. It's just a bunch of misinformation. You have no idea. Mav, you have blood on your hands. Okay, Mav. Do you, do you want to have a conversation or you just want no, to? No, I really just would like you to just apologize and turn around and see okay. that what you're doing is harmful. Mav, there's only harm if God exists. Harm is only evil if God exists. And so there's you're still- harm regardless if God exists right, or not. Thank you, Mav. You're not interested. Thank you for coming. Hey, Mav, if I gave you a book, would you read it? Is it on Audible? I have severe ADHD. I don't have an Audible with me, but Is I can. Is it on any type of like written like? I'll tell uh, you what. If you go what's back to Texas Speech, if you go back there and you give uh, Evan at the table your email address, I will email you personally. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> and and uh, by the way, uh, before we go to the next question, now that I have a chance to speak here. I appreciate people coming here who have a different point of view, but it's got to be a dialogue. It can't be a monologue. And I think that, yes, people who identify as LGBTQ have been treated poorly. But I also think now that Christians are being treated poorly, and both of them are wrong. We ought to respect people even if we disagree with them. But that's a moral category. And respect only makes sense as a moral category if there's a moral standard beyond us. Otherwise, everything's just a matter of opinion. If somebody says gay is good, that's a matter of opinion. If somebody says gay is bad, that's a matter of opinion. You have to have a standard. My question to anybody who disagrees is what is your moral standard? If there is no God, there's no rights to anything. There's no Christian rights, there's no gay rights, there's no transgender rights, there's no human rights. It's just one person's opinion against another. And when we say we're atheists and we start bringing moral categories into the conversation, I'm going to ask, what's the standard you're using? It turns out the standard stolen from God himself. And that's what I cover in the book, Stealing from God, Why Atheists Need God to Make Their Case. We might agree with a lot of stuff Mav said, that people have been treated immorally. But unless you have a moral standard outside of yourself that we're all obligated to obey, it wasn't really immoral. Do you see the point? Okay. <laughs> I feel like Mav, is that his name he called? Mav? It came out of a place of anger out of a place of bitterness. 
he was really pissed watching Frank's video that Frank is pointing out that LGBTQ he doesn't support. It's coming out to tell Frank he does not support, he doesn't like his videos because him speaking or preaching out about LGBTQ is not good. And he's not supporting them, he's just making them look bad. So he's not allowing Frank to speak. He has, there must be a moral standard where you're coming from. So the, the word he's saying, everything he's saying, Frank is just putting him straight. Do you believe in God? Is there a moral standard for what you are saying? That, that's why Frank was giving the, the word like, saying like, murder. So, um, Math right here, he's, <laughs> he's been rude. If I would say he was a bit rude. And he's just been monologue. He don't want to, the conversation to be about dialogue. You throw your question, Frank answer you. That is how it's, that's how it's done. You don't just speak. You, just, you don't want to hear Frank point to the view. You don't want to hear your own side of the view. That's terrible. And it is, it is insulting Frank. Being a host right there, you are insulting his personality because he's there to talk to other people and counsel them. In best of his own knowledge, and a lot of people right there are coming from different different ethnicity, different background, different religion. It's trying to put them in the right direction, and you come in to talk all over him. You don't allow him to want to speak. You are talking over him. It is disrespectful. You have to respect the host who is giving the privilege to address the crowd. So right here, um, I know math. As he called himself, was talking a lot of pain. So I won't hold him really responsible. I know he's feeling like he has been treated bad. And if you hear his voice, he was a, it was kind of like sounding like someone who wants to cry. He was feeling bitter, he was feeling angry, he was feeling that resentment. So I know we are not, people are not treating LGBTQ properly, but I feel like some people who are in LGBTQ that have gender dysphoria. I, I see everyone in LGBT people who have gender dysphoria or people who are not actually, they need counseling. They need psychologists because some of the people who are accepting to be dog, who are, who are going for surgery to change who they are, that's, that is not normal. Especially things that don't do to children, changing their gender at a very young age, that is not normal. That is abnormal. Changing because a child feel like he he's she's feeling like a boy, you go cut off her breast. That is not normal. That is abnormal. The way the child is about twenty years, twenty one years, feeling like dad, mom, why did you do that to me? It's not. It's it's not right. A lot of people are regretting such actions. I'm telling the truth. A lot of people in LGBTQ plus or how they call it are regretting such actions. A lot in numbers in thousands. There there regretting the actions that they took when they were younger. So, I don't support LGBTQ. At the same time, I know they're not being treated right. They're being discriminated among the crowd. Because I feel like they need psychologists. But they should not be talked bad at. They should not be insulted. They should not be pushed down to the floor. No one is perfect. No one is without a saint. No one is a saint. But I feel like they need psychologists to talk them out of the, the, the scenario that is in their head right there. For me, that's my own opinion about them. I don't hate them, but I feel like they need help. So comment below what you think about this video. Subscribe to China, guys. Um, comment what you think about Frank opinion, about math opinion, comment down below. And also, if you have a friend that is in that, is in that group, LGBTQ+, I think, think like you should take them to a psychologist for, to help them out, for them to be more psych and Think straight. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all